am, Olivia. In fact, I'm better than okay because today is Turkey Day. <laughs> and we'll be celebrating one of my favorite animals, the turkey. I always wanted my own turkey, but my parents were goldfish people. But turkeys are fun. That's what I always told them. So I decided if I couldn't have a turkey, I could at least learn to speak their language. I don't like to boast, but I happen to be a champion turkey warbler, which is a fancy pants way of saying I can talk to turkeys. So that's the noise you were making. It sounded like singing. <gasps> I would love to sing with turkeys. I wonder. <laughs> Mrs. Hagenmuller, I want to learn to sing with a turkey. That's wonderful, Olivia. But you might want to learn to talk to them before you sing with them. Why are you making that weird noise? That's just how you talk to turkeys. I'm trying to say, hello, turkey, I'm Olivia. Come out and play. Nope. No turkeys. I guess I'd better keep trying. Ooh, no, 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 no. <gasps> Is that a turkey? Let's find out. Ooh, no, 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 no. <laughs> <laughs> that turkey looks a lot like Perry. Come on, Perry. Let's play pet. Hmm. Maybe it takes a really special turkey call. <gasps> Ha uh ha, -huh. very funny, Ian. <gasps> I did it! I can talk to turkeys! <laughs> Whoa! That's... that's a turkey! I know! Open up, William. The choo-choo is heading right for your mouth. Chugga, 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 come on! Dad, I did it! I talked turkey! Well, that's great, Olivia. It isn't easy to talk turkey. You know, I do a pretty good gobble-gobble myself. Gobble-gobble. Huh, William? Gobble-gobble. Let me show you how it's done, Dad. <gasps> That, 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 that's a turkey. I know. I have a way with animals. Harry, <laughs> easy, easy, boy. Come here. Come on. <laughs> okay, let's see. Crystal, fine china, linen napkins. Oh, what else do I need for a wedding? Gobble, gobble, gobble. <gasps> there, there's a turkey, turkey in, in there. there. <laughs> I've got this, Mom. <laughs> There he is. Olivia, can you do your oodle oodle call and get your friend to come out? Okay. <gasps> wow, you call and he answers. <laughs> he says he's sorry. There. He had to go, Olivia. And anyway, I, I'm sure the turkey is, is happy to be back outside. Huh? I'm gonna miss that little guy. Ah, I was expecting a delivery. Oh! Did that turkey ring the doorbell? Wow, you really do have a way with animals. I think he really likes you. Can he stay? Uh, maybe just for tonight. 
He's such a good turkey. Can we keep him forever? Did you know that turkeys are one of the smartest birds? No, I didn't. <gasps> hey, he ate my pancake. That's it. He has to go. <sighs> Don't worry, Mom. I brought him here. I'll get rid of him. <laughs> now what? I have this recorder, and I'm going to record a very special message. <laughs> Way, so we can't follow us home. He didn't even ring the doorbell this time. That turkey is good. Mmm, popcorn. <laughs> He'll never go on his own. We just have to find him a new home with someone he likes more than me. Yeah, but even if we do, who wants a turkey for a pet? That's it! Mrs. Hogenmiller always wanted a turkey. If we introduce them, maybe he'll like her more than me. Good morning, class. Please take your seats, everyone. <laughs> Whoa! Nice Olivia! Who is your handsome friend? And where did he come from? I called him. Like this. Oh, Olivia, you have a gift. No wonder you called and this little fella came. You're a gobbly, glorious little fella, too. Wanna give it a try? Oh, I would love to. <clears throat> oh, no, no, no. A bit more like this, Mrs. Hogenmuller. Let's try it together. Oh, my! That was wonderful! I think it worked. He likes her. Are you sure you don't mind if I adopt this beautiful bird? I'm sure. Oh, and he really likes popcorn. He can have all the popcorn he wants. Gobbledy, 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 gobbledy. Dad, do you think the turkey misses me? Oh, I'm sure he misses you a lot, Olivia. But he'll be happy living with Mrs. Hogenmuller. Oh, no! He's back! <laughs> Ian! Ha! <laughs> you thought I was a turkey. Very funny, Ian, but you get back to bed. Go to sleep. You too, Olivia. But... Gobble, gobble, gobble! Dad! Ooh. Oh, okay. Gobble, 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 gobble! Close enough. Good night, Olivia. They say good night, Olivia. Your big day is through. But how can I sleep? There's still so much to do. It looks like I'm tucked inside, snug in my bed. But tomorrow is chasing today through my head. Will I climb the highest mountains off? This is the special way we carry people away from danger. <laughs> Thank you for letting me rescue you, Mrs. Huggenmuller. Oh, no. Thank you for that thrilling demonstration. Now, I bet you're all bubbling with questions about being a firefighter. Ooh, uh, 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 yes, uh, the little uh, lady in red. It's Olivia. Do you all really live in a firehouse? Oh, 
And I love your red hat. Why, thank you. No, we don't live in the firehouse all the time. Just when we're working. We stay there so we're always ready to get to a fire super fast. Those lights and this siren tell folks to pull over so we can get past them. And if they don't get the message... Oh, oh they'll get the message all right. Nice hydraulic. Whoa, sweet. We try to put the fire out before it can burn down someone's home. When people get stuck in burning buildings, we rescue them. Ooh. Wow. And we don't just save people. Oh, oh, that's nice. Took some doing to rescue this little fella out of a tree. <laughs> Isn't that right, Sparky? We love rescuing kitties. Hmm, rescuing kitties. I wonder. Attention, firefighters. 514, please respond. 514? That's code for a kitty emergency. <laughs> Don't worry, kitty. Hang on tight. I'm almost... There? Whoa! Oh, you're a nice big kitty. Have a way with animals. My sandwich! Sparky, come back here! I've got to make sure that little guy doesn't end up back in another tree. Goodbye, Firefighter Fred. We'll never forget you. Since Firefighter Fred can't be everywhere, it's up to us to help all cats that might be stuck up in trees. How? Hmm. Men, we are firefighters now. <clears throat> and there are cats out there that need our help. I'm not a man. Men and Francine, as the official emergency cat rescue squad, we have to be trained and ready at all times. Let the training begin. Firefighters need to climb and fly. Whoa! Next, whee! Next, yeah! Here's yours, Ian. This is a cowboy hat. Cats love cowboy hats. It needs just one more thing. Is our fire engine ready, Firefighter Julian? Ready, Cat Rescue Chief Bolivia. Then let's roll, men. <clears throat> and Francine. Emergency! Clear the way! Faster, Firefighter Julian! Whoa! Cats in trees need us! Uh, anything? Uh, I see a shoe up in that tree. We could rescue that. Where are all the cats? And why aren't they stuck up in trees? I know! What is it? It's a catapult! And it will get cats up in trees? That's where the name comes from. Catapult. We just need to test it first with something the same size as Edwin. I probably have something that's the right size. Let me look through my bag. Aha! Use Maud. Great! She'll be okay. Oh. Well, that didn't work. Sorry, Francine. I'm okay. It's all for the kitties. Where are you going? We have to save a cat. And it has to be Edwin. And we have to stick him in that tree. Aha! Uh -huh. Hello there, Mouse. You're going for a ride. On this. Huh? You turned my car into a robo-mouse? A robo mouse that will climb right up a tree. Ooh. Go, Edwin! Wow, look at him go! Wow, it really can climb a 
anything. Now for the real test. We got Edwin up there. Now it's rescue time. <laughs> Go, Gwendolyn! <sighs> Come back here! Hey, that was Firefighter Fred's kid in Sparky. <laughs> That's cool. Okay, so now we have a lot of cats to rescue. Ah, um, we may have a problem. You guys hear some really loud meowing? Harold Hockenberry, would you like to be in the official emergency cat rescue squad? Does it cost anything? One sandwich. Mmm, meow! Come and get it! I don't get it. Sparky left your sandwich yesterday. Yesterday was Tuesday. Tuna Tuesday. Today is Watermelon Wednesday. A watermelon sandwich? No wonder they don't want to eat it. Cats love tuna. All right, men. And? And Francine. We know what we need now. Tuna fish. As long as it's got tuna on it or in it, bring it back here. Now, spread out and bring me some tuna. Hang on, Hansel and Gretel! Tuna sandwiches, tuna cake, tuna pizza. Good job. Now everybody grab some tuna. Here, here kitties. kitties! Come get some tuna. Tuna time! Come, 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 come get some tuna. tuna. but I have something much better. You! <laughs> you two little scamps don't deserve this. But, oh, I'm just glad you're safe. We had a call down at the station about a large number of cats stuck in a tree. But it looks like you took care of it yourselves. Good job. Thanks, Firefighter Fred. Hey! <laughs> Olivia. You really do have a way with animals. Oh, thank you. But I couldn't have done it without my men. And Francine. <laughs> <laughs> Olivia, even real firefighters sleep with their hats off. They say good night, Olivia, your big day. But how can I sleep? There's still so much to do. It looks like I'm tucked inside snug in my bed. But tomorrow is chasing today through my head. Will I climb the highest mountain top? Or will I paint my masterpiece? Go ride a bronco in the rodeo. Or wow the crowd on my trapeze. Princess, doctor, author, astronaut. From jungle start to ocean deep. Olivia. Olivia, you look so grown up at my desk. How's the party planning business? Your job's a lot of fun, Mom. My plan for William's birthday party. Finish his card. Check. Wow. I think that's your prettiest, glitteriest one yet. Your client will be so happy. Thanks. Now I need to make a present to go with it before William's party starts. It's not till this afternoon. I'm sure you'll think of something wonderful. Wonderful's not good enough. It has to be perfect. First birthdays are extra special. And I can do much better than blocks. But what? What does William want? I wonder. Welcome to Olivia's Magical Baby Stuff Spectacular, young man. Get ready to be amazed, because making perfect play stuff is my specialty. Bet you'll go goo-goo over. 
An automatic peekaboo player. Peekaboo, peekaboo, peekaboo. Or the pedal powered pop cycle. Still not impressed? Next. You haven't seen anything until you've seen the whatever in the world William could possibly want in a box. <laughs> William. There's got to be a way to find out what you really want. Hmm. It's time to become a birthday spy. <sighs> huh. That clog must be inside this old pipe. Just get up. Get this. Oh, quarter inch of the... Oh! <laughs> Feels like I got a tickly helper. <laughs> Just got to... Turn it this way to loosen it. <laughs> or maybe the other way. <sighs> Agent Double Olivia reporting. Operation Perfect Present starts now. Operation what? Operation Perfect Present. <laughs> Our assignment? <Whoop. laughs> Find out what William really loves. <laughs> And then I'll know exactly what he wants for his birthday. Check, Agent Double Olivia. So far, birthday baby likes sitting and crawling. And banging. And banging. Oh, got it. And head goop. And more banging. Operation Perfect Present continues. What birthday baby wants? Still unknown. Birthday baby doesn't want a nap. <gasps> he sees us. Cover blown. Agent Double Olivia signing off. Hi, William. <sighs> I'm stumped. So far, he likes sitting, crawling, banging on stuff, not napping, and goop on dad. I'm running out of time to make him a present. <laughs> uh, smells like he needs a new diaper. For his birthday? He gets diapers every day. I think he likes banging on stuff the best. <laughs> banging, definitely. Is he trying to make music? I wonder. <sighs> Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to a special concert of the Olivia Orchestra. than sippy cup on crushed cereal. I guess. But you're gonna have to find some clinkly sounding stuff. Clinkly stuff, coming up. Clinkly. I think I found the sound, Olivia. You? You're not very clinkly. I am when my pockets are full of lunch money. Ta da! Good as new. Dad, it's almost time for William's party. And I still need to find something that'll make a. Whoop. 
<gasps> hey! Thanks, Dad. Now we just need a baby-sized clinkly banger. Way to go, Wedding Double O, Olivia. Mission accomplished. Olivia, Ian, it's almost party time. Wait, it won't be the perfect present until I wrap it perfectly. That's it, William. Almost open. Okay, buddy, let's see what Ian got you. <laughs> William can always use a clean diaper. <laughs> That's very thoughtful of you, Ian. It sure is. Looks like it's time for William's last present. Olivia! Ta-da! Made especially for you, William. William. Whoa, William, look at that bow, huh? <laughs> no, William, this is your present. A xylophone. Maybe he just doesn't know how it works, honey. Oh. Hear that, William? You can bang on it. Oh. He likes the wrapping paper more than my present. Well, happy birthday anyway, William. <laughs> Sorry, Olivia, but you kind of do look like a present. Ah. Is the party over already? Not quite. Everyone, I finally figured out what in the world William wants. It's me! <laughs> Happy birthday, one-year-old. <laughs> I love you too, William. Olivia, you did it. You gave William the perfect present. That's great. Wow. What a perfect <laughs> gift. <laughs> Olivia, you really helped make William's special day extra special. Thanks, Mom. And who knows? Maybe someday he'll want to play with the xylophone too. <sighs> They say good night, Olivia. Your big day is through. But how can I sleep? There's still so much to do. It looks like I'm tucked inside, snug in my bed. But tomorrow is chasing today through my head. Will I climb the highest mountains off? Perfect present complete. Good night, Olivia. <laughs> Time for bed, William. 